Hi there, and welcome to the uh, fourth tutorial for Kodu. Uh, basically, let's get a look here. So our challenge uh, this time is to make an obstacle, an obstacle course. Uh, so you have to have a timer, which is a big important part, uh, an endpoint, which in this case might be a castle. Uh, the only player you are controlling is Kodu, and then you have to have at least three obstacles in the way, and it shouldn't take more than one to two minutes to play. So, um, I'm using this one, I'm using the Surface Pro, so sorry if it creates any confusion, but basically what I've started here, I've got my landmass. this is just a really simple obstacle course, you know, uh, just a one, one direction basically, and I've started just with a Kodu. So the first part I'm going to do is I'm going to just code my Kodu real quick, Game uh, L stick, and let's just move. I'm also... Um, also going to give him uh, maybe a jump feature too. A button. Oh no, not move. Actions. That's what it was. Jump. Okay, so when I press A, he jumps. When I hit the L stick, he should move. Okay, so now basically, um, now I have to create my characters, my obstacles. So. I'm going to start just by making a cycle. And I'm going to make him, um, why don't we do pink? Sure. Okay. Now, I want him to move on a path, so then I have to create a path. So it's in the top left corner here path, plane. And then again, I'm going to make, I made him pink, I'm going to make him pink. And I'll just give him a real. Link it up real nice. So he's got this nice little square yellow path, but now I need to code him. So I don't really need a when command, but I do need a do. Now when I do my command here, he's just going to move oops, on a path. So he's going to move on the path that is. We made him pink, so we'll keep the path pink. So he should just move on the path, except now the game should be over when Kodu collides with him. So when he bumps. Kodu, the game will end. Okay, so he's moving around on path pink, bumps Kodu, game ends. Should work. Let's see if it does. So I play the world here if my Kodu it does. Okay, good. Okay, now I need two more of those similar circumstances here. So I'll go back to edit my world, Kodu in. Now, maybe on this little plateau here, I'm going to make a different character. Let's see. The puck. And the puck actually moves really quick when you use it. Um, let's make him black. So I got my black puck. But I do the same thing as I make a path for him. And I'm going to use black again. Okay, and real simple, you know, nice little square. But actually, trust me, it actually be when you see him move, he he moves at a frenetic pace. Actually, so real simple. I don't need to win. I just do. It's gonna move on a path, and that path we color black. Okay, and the reason we color it is that so that they, they don't confuse paths and they start mixing over. I mean, if you want to try that, knock yourself out. Um, and again, when bumps into Kodu, the game is over. Okay, so it should work. Uh, let's just trust that it does. And then I've got this nice bumpy section here. Um, let's use a saucer. Now again, the saucer's really high up. He's probably not going to bump into Kodu, so I'm going to have to do... I'm gonna have to bring him a little bit closer down to the to the ground. Okay. And I'm gonna make this saucer green. Okay, so I got my green saucer, and I'll make a little 
less traditional path here. those nodes on the uh, the lower sections here making sure that he um, he travels this far down so that uh, it makes it a little more difficult for the Kodu to uh, to evade him and making my game a little more difficult now at the end I should have a castle castle okay it's huge castle. okay so this castle is just basically here. When he bumps Kodu, the, instead of losing, actually win. Okay, now let's see. Hopefully, I can get through this real quick. And that's kind of why I put in a jump command so that I could. So you see Kodu. Oh man. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try and get through this. Very, very difficult game here. Last try. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll just uh <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just gonna make a little cheat for myself here. Okay, you see the saucer is not moving, but that's because I haven't programmed it. I just want to check and see if the castle works. And it doesn't. But that's okay, that's probably because I'm on a Surface Pro. Um, if you're using just a PC, the castle might work just fine. But there's more ways to uh, accomplish that. So, first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to have my saucer. I'm going to pick him up. Follow the path. And that path we colored, I believe we colored green, right? Okay, and then do Sorry, well yeah, when bump code game ends. So again, here's another obstacle to comment. Now for some reason the castle isn't working for me, um, but that's okay. What I can do is I'll actually copy this page, or I'll cut it, L, and uh, I'll cut this, and instead of using a castle, um, I don't know, maybe a star, I'll program it, I'll go back, I'll paste my page in when he bumps Kodu, uh, when's the game, so that should work, hopefully it will. Jump over this guy. Uh, watch out for the saucer. Okay, hopefully this works. Yeah. Okay. Great. Game one. Okay. For some reason the castle isn't working, but again I think that's because I'm on the Surface Pro. Now the last part here uh, is we need a timer. So um, basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an inanimate object. Could be a cloud could be an uh, underwater feature. In this case, um, I'm just going to use a rock. Okay, and the iceberg is a great rock. It can be big, can be small. Uh, it doesn't matter what color, really. Okay, so basically, um, I'm creating a score for the timer. And <clears throat> so what I'm going to do to create my timer is I'm going to uh, set a score. And I'm going to set a score of whatever I want my timer to be. Now I need to test out my timer, so I'm only going to make it five. So and I'm also going to assign a color to that score. Um, let's go white. Okay, so my score is going to show up as white. So my set score, uh, five points. So when I turn on my game, I should automatically have five points on the board. Um, 
So then I'm going to have to assign a time. So when the timer, every second, what am I going to do? Well, he's going to subtract 1.4 white. Hopefully that makes sense. You start at, you start at 5 and then every second you're going to go down one point white. When he, we have to have a condition for when he gets to zero points. So when there is zero points for white, the game will end. So hopefully it'll start out as five points, tick down one point every second till I get to zero, making a time limit for my game, and therefore it should end. So let's try that out. Now it's saying game over, and um, I kind of did that purposely, just to just to see um, because you you guys will probably have the same issue when you do this. Now what happens is is that the game is is setting the score to five points, but before it's set to five points, it actually starts at zero. So you have to set it to five points, but you have to do that without touching zero essentially without the command of end in there. So the way to get around that is to actually create a second page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to put it in the second page. So after it's set to five points, we're going to indent so automatically it just it goes to page two. So what's going to happen, it's going to set to five points, and then at five points, every second is going to go down, and it should end here. Okay? So let's see if that works. Play world. You can see in the top right corner, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay? Now I should also show you this in the world settings here. that in the world settings you see the score of visibility you can I've got it on quiet um, it'll probably start off as uh, as loud but the quiet label basically means it's going to appear in the top right hand corner as you saw when I played the game. So again, I'll just go back to my coding of Kodus. Instead of five points now for white, I'm gonna just increase that to uh, do like this. 20 plus 10 makes 30 for white. So it goes, it'll automatically start at 30 seconds, and then, um, well here, I'm going to give myself a chance because that puck moves like crazy. I'm going to move a little closer to the ground, so hopefully I can jump over him. And then, uh, yeah, the object of the game is to get to the star. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so you see in the top right hand corner I have 30 seconds. Very nice. And game. Okay, hopefully that helps. Um, that's it for tutorial number four.